What's up guys, Rob from White Lines here and welcome back to our new series of quick fire quiver reviews. We're going to be taking a look at some of the most exciting new lines of snowboard gear for this winter and then weighing up the differences between them so that you can get your hands on your perfect bits of kit for this winter. And today we've got the fresh new lineup of splitboard bindings from Spark R&D. We're seeing some pretty sweet upgrades this season which we've already been lucky enough to put to the test. Things are looking good over at Spark HQ. They've had record growth over the last couple of years. They've expanded the scale of their operation out in Montana. They're ramping up production. And this right here is the new upgraded splitboard binding lineup that they've got for winter 2023. I have the Arc ST, the Surge ST, and the Pro series bindings with me right here. And you might notice a little change to the name this season. What does ST stand for? Smooth Touring. So three key components have been upgraded for this season. The touring bracket, the whammy bars, and the Ibex crampons. And with that comes a whole load of improved durability and efficiency out on the skin track. So let me break that down a bit more. All three upgrades take place at the interface of the component. So that's basically where they're gonna be moving against other parts of the binding system and therefore more exposed to wear and tear. The upgrades come in the form of overmolding. Essentially a highly durable and weather resistant thermal plastic is wrapped around or integrated with existing components. In doing so, they reduce friction and resistance when they're in use, meaning both you and your bindings can go for longer. Take the bushings here on the touring bracket. Now you may remember that these used to be made from brass, but they've now been overmolded with that thermoplastic. And Spark claimed that these last up to four times longer than the previous version. And keep in mind, they weren't exactly flimsy before. And you can see the whammy bar has this sleeve of that same thermoplastic wrapped around it where it comes into contact with the base plate. So you still have the 12, 18 and the stowed positions as before, but I can tell you right now that they feel way smoother just give them a quick nudge with your touring pole and you're good to go. Lastly, the same goes for the brass axle on the Ibex crampon, which has also been overmolded and it slots into the touring bracket claw mount really easily now. Okay, one more noteworthy change for this season. Take a look at the new high back design. So all 2023 models now come with this asymmetric high back. It's got the same rip and flip design to switch effortlessly between walk and ride modes, but now comes with this improved ergonomic shape to more effectively contour your boots and provide a little more comfort and connection. Our test team all noticed the improved feel and support of these things, whether that was for skinning up or riding back down. All those changes are found throughout the entire lineup of bindings I have here, but depending on whether you opt for the Arc ST, the Surge ST, or the Pro versions of those two bindings, you'll get some different performance features, components, and weight ranges. Right then, let's start with the ARC ST. Now, these are definitely one of the most popular options for both rookie and seasoned splitboarders. They feature this aluminium base plate and you can see just how much of the material has been cut out to reduce the weight in them. If we take a look at the pillow line ankle straps here, they're made from a single piece of injection molded plastic with these softer contoured pads on the inside for comfort and then these more rigid ribs on the outside to provide some structure. But look at how the strap has this cut out or flex window as Spark call it, right through the center of the strap. Now this allows for way more ankle flexion and combined with a slightly softer high back it gives the arc sts a really fun surfy and altogether more playful feel than some of the other models in the line they can still handle big old days out in the backcountry for sure but if you're someone who favors more cruisy lines and you like to get really expressive with your riding these are definitely one of the more accessible and forgiving options from spark Next, we come on to the Surge ST binding. These are the altogether bigger, burlier, and stiffer binding option. Although it's worth mentioning, they are still incredibly lightweight. The first thing you'll notice is the difference in the aluminum base plate. Now this one is a solid single piece which adds some more rigidity and stiffness to the binding. The straps also have a wider asymmetric shape compared with the ARC STs and with the single piece injection molded plastic that doesn't have that flex window. So they offer up loads of support and more immediate response compared with the ARC STs. And the high backs are also just a tad stiffer to round off the more powerful feel of these bindings. All of this makes the Surge STs a great option for riders who either favor a stiffer, more instant feel from a binding, or if you're just going out to tackle some bigger, more demanding backcountry events. 
objectives this season. I have to say, I've been riding the Surge bindings for years now, and I don't know if I'd ever change now. They just feel so solid and reassuring to ride in, and yet they still come in at a fraction of the weight of a conventional binding. Right then, so what about the Pro Series bindings? Well, at a glance, everything looks the same. Come in just a little closer though, and you'll see how well engineered they are to not only somehow make them lighter than their regular counterparts, but stronger as well. So some of the big weight savings come from here in the heel hoops, which are machined to be thinner and lighter than in the regular bindings. The high backs in the Pro Series are also made with a carbon infused nylon, so that not only shaves off a few extra grams, it also gives them a little more performance in and out of your turns. And let's take a look at the straps, the ladders, and the adjusters. Now they look pretty identical to the Arc ST and Surge ST pillow straps, right? But Spark have made these ones with PBAX plastic, which is one of those miracle materials that not only has improved durability and performance in colder temps, it's also 20% lighter than the regular injection molded plastic straps. Lastly, and this is definitely my favorite feature, take a look at the lengths that Spark go to in the name of shaving off a couple of extra grams. The pivot pins here, for example, have been hollowed out and they've introduced aluminium custom components, which they claim are 60% lighter than their steel counterparts. Now, I'm not ashamed to say that the snowboard nerd in me loves that attention to detail. Naturally then, the Pro Series bindings come with a bigger price tag, but I can definitely see the benefits to dropping the extra cash on them. If you're racking up some serious vertical meters in the backcountry, having a pair of the Pro Series bindings can make a huge difference to the net weight saving of your setup. Up. and that'll allow you to travel further, faster, and higher. Equally, if you're just someone who wants the absolute best of the best, there's really nothing else that comes close to these, in my opinion. Okay, I think that's about it for our roundup of Spark's new splitboard binding line for this season, but do let me know if you have any questions or want to know more about any of the models, and I'll happily answer them down below in the comments. One last thing I want to mention is that Spark have done away with gendered specific sizing, and instead they're opting for a unisex size range going from an extra small right up to a large for this season. And to be honest, it makes total sense to me. The size of your binding is determined by the size and volume of the boot, not by the person wearing them. So I think this will make it much easier for men and women to find their perfect binding size for the season. Anyway, that's all from me, folks. If you're heading out into the backcountry this season, stay safe. Make sure you're carrying all the right backcountry equipment like a beacon, probe, and shovel. Know how to use it, and make sure you're always riding with experienced guides or locals. Thanks for watching. See you soon.